Hey folks, well, welcome back to the channel. I uh, had a pretty exciting day yesterday. Made a trip over to Hayden, Idaho and back. If you don't know, Hayden is where the world headquarters for RS Racecraft is. So, uh, I always have this kind of saying or this mantra that I go by on if you're buying something from, from some sort of a craftsman or anything like that or whatever, you want to ask what kind of boat or car does that person themselves drive, right? So my, the my uh, theme for today's video is what kind of boat would me, Eric Werner, a uh, sprint boat driver, racer, what kind of mini boat would I buy and build and drive for myself? I've built three of uh, RS Racecraft's kits now, two Skookums and the 3.3. And I decided to go with a Skookum myself. So, without further ado, this is well, the result of my trip over to Hayden, Idaho, and back. This is going to be my boat that I'm keeping for myself. And this is uh, one of the reasons that I love the RS Racecraft Skookum kit is just how done everything and the whole kit comes i mean there's everything there's your wind the, your windscreen obviously your tunnel the uh, transom plate the baffles for the fuel tank there the the big transom all the little mini braces and in motor mounts and all that stuff all the way down to the little pieces that are down in here the the whole kit is uh set and ready to go um the other thing i'll show you over here in a box is uh, I'm a firm believer in the Hydro Blaster kit and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. So here's the Hydro Blaster. I'm going with the 160 millimeter Yamaha uh, pump adapter, the little goodies. This is their Gen 2 and you can see the uh, stomp grate addition to this, uh, to this intake. Um, and I also have the 160 millimeter shortened Yamaha shaft, the Yamaha fuel intake bung, the 135 degree jet star jet boat steering. And so what kind of a mini boat would a spent sprint boat racer drive? Well, this is it, the Skookum 13 kit. And I am putting the Yamaha SVHO engine in this kit. I have the SHO sitting out behind my shop ready to go. That was my plan to put that in there. But um, while I was over there, I also ordered the 3.8 meter kit. Uh, it's gonna be a four seat configuration with a doghouse and a high Northwest tile windshield with the SHO in it. So if that is something you're interested in, that boat is, or that uh, build is probably gonna get started probably sometime late summer, maybe September-ish, depending on um, when I get the kit from them. Um, the three meter boat, I'm putting a Kawasaki 1100 two stroke in. I'm kind of excited to do that because it's the single piece bottom and it's just gonna be a small, light, fun boat to build. So if you're interested in the 3.8 with a Yamaha SHO, four seat, high Northwest style windshield, let me know, cause we could uh, do some sort of a custom build with that before I get too far along. Otherwise, I'm just gonna build it to my specs and uh, put it up for sale. So uh, one other thing about this kit that I'm pretty excited to kind of share and show is the PRP seats that come that uh, RS Racecraft sells. I, my girlfriend and I talked about this uh, in length. I really like, okay, so the Skookum is obviously a two seat boat, but it's really not. <laughs> it's really a three seat boat. So check this out. So it's simple as that and presto, there you have a three seat uh, Skookum boat. So with the with the removable center console and cup holders a uh, little mat pocket i think this thing just velcros off and i know that thing's sewn on there but the, the the flap so you can put your cell phones in there batteries whatever um really nice prp seats with the rs racecraft logo and <laughs> the other thing is that i ordered those heated when uh, my brother and i went um, running man i think that was january we went it was in like low 40s high 30s up on the skagit river and it got cold They're like we dressed for it we had full-on waders um neoprene waders we had multiple layers up top gloves helmet <laughs> everything and it still gets cold just sitting there. So I got the heated uh, heat elements in those. So 
that is what me, Eric Werner, sprint boat driver extraordinaire, is buying and building for myself. A Skookum 13 kit from RS Racecraft with the PRP heated seats. Pretty excited about that. And of course, I have to have the Yamaha SVHO with over 300 horsepower. We'll talk more about that as the build goes. One other thing I wanted to talk about that had, had re just recently happened. I kind of made the decision to do the SVHO. Um, I sold those two boats, so I had a little extra money on hand to spend the extra money for that. And there's a, a gentleman down in Florida uh, on all the Facebook mini boat groups that uh, has been advertising for himself. Uh, it's Power Plants R Us, and his name is Jorge uh, Ailman. And I, I reached out to Jorge and I said, hey, I'm in the market. I've got the money ready to go if you can keep your eyes out for an SVHO for me. And it was just a matter of a couple days later, he um, wrote back and said, hey, I found one, but we need to act fast. I'm gonna need a deposit to make this happen. So <laughs> uh, I literally landed from one of my trips, ran into the hotel, got to signed in, and a little bit, uh, it's a little bit sketchy, um, you know, buying something sight unseen um, from somebody halfway across the country or actually all the way across the country in Florida. And so that's the reason I kind of wanted to say this is so I sent Jorge the $1,500 deposit and he said, OK, um, and I hadn't even seen the ski or the power plant. It was a 2021 with 13 hours. And he said, okay, well, I will let you know in a couple days, I'll get the ski and we're gonna do a compression check on it. So um, two or three days later, Jorge messaged me and says, I got bad news. The engine had low compression on one of the cylinders. So um, what would you like to do with your deposit? Do you want me to keep it and keep looking for a boat or I will send the deposit back? So I said, keep it, keep looking for a, for a motor. So, um, so that's the kind of, um, guy and trustworthy that power plants power plants are us on the forums are and especially jorge down there so shout out to jorge and their system then i so then today um i was looking around for new skis in the seattle area and i found one called the dealership and i, I called jorge and said hey i'm gonna need the deposit back because i'm gonna buy this ski local if you could send that deposit back and i'll do business with you again in the future jorge boom two minutes later sent the deposit back so if you have any reservations at all about uh, doing business with power plants are us down in florida I would say don't. He was very transparent and upfront about the, the compression of the engine. He didn't want to send me something that wasn't going to last. He was very quick to refund my deposit and uh, an overall very, very um, good experience dealing with him on that. And I guarantee I will be buying um, motors from him in the future. So Jorge, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for hooking me up. Thanks for the honesty. And we will be buying uh, more motors from you. Funny story though is the motor in Seattle actually sold already. So now this kit doesn't have a motor. <laughs> I'm back to ground uh, ground zero. So Jorge, keep looking. I'm going to keep looking up here. And if anybody has uh, an SVHO uh, in good shape, let me know. And we'll get this build uh, uh, coming along on the uh, the YouTube channel. We're going to talk more about how the, all the specifics on the Yamaha and I'm really excited to have the extra power plant uh, horsepower that comes from those motors. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you like the content, hit that like button, subscribe, get those notifications, and by all means, share the channel if, uh, if it's something that you think anybody else can get use out of. Thanks for watching.